This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, GoProvidence.com brings us Executive Chef Greg from Avio Restaurant. I don't know if you've been there before, but it's delicious. Uh, we have a great fall dish on the menu today. Actually, this it's almost like transitional. We right. got the seafood coming from you know from the summer months, oh, yeah. but mixing in some of those great autumn flavors. What are we making? Yeah, so today we're going to feature some uh, Karen Elizabeth sea scallops out of Galilee with mm -hmm. a little. Uh, Autumn squash hash with some pea tendrils, a cranberry chutney, and a hard cider glaze. Yum. That sounds delicious. So tell us a little bit about the chutney and the hash. Uh, what, uh, what ingredients you actually combine? Yeah, so in that? the hash, it's just a mix of delicata squash, um, butternut squash, mm -hmm. sweet potato, Yukon gold potato, um, and some kawacha squash. And then with our cranberry chutney, we slow cook some... Um, dried cranberries and a little uh, sweetened water and then we just kind of mm. pulse it a little bit so it's like a jam. Is, do you suggest using the dried cranberries as opposed to fresh because I know I'm seeing the fresh ones in the market I all do. the time I do. I suggest the dry because they're sweeter. Uh, it's not going to be bitter like a uh, a uh, fresh cranberry would be. Mm -hmm. I was snacking on raw cranberries this morning, so okay, I don't perfect. find them bitter at all. I find them absolutely delicious, but I do love a good chutney as well. Is that going to be placed on top of the scallops? So that's going to live underneath the dish, okay. and then the uh, hash will sit on top, and then just finish it with the scallops right over the top. Yum. Sounds delicious. Great recipe that we have on hand. We're incorporating some of those fall flavors. Maybe you can even use this hash or the chutney into your Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, of course uh, you could. You week. could Very serve that with a piece of turkey, piece of chicken, really anything. It's kind yeah. of versatile in the kitchen. I always love when there's good sides that can pair with different Oh yeah, proteins. absolutely. For sure. All right, well gather up your ingredients. We will get cooking in just a bit. Now I'm going to do some damage with this golf club. <laughs> Send things back to Michaela in the kitchen. Yeah, that's right, Brendan. Uh, maybe if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, uh, do something relaxing like cooking for a lot of people. GoProvidence.com brings us Executive Chef Greg from Avio. And I'm sure you find some yes. sort of like relief of peace oh, when you're cooking. Definitely. The cooking is the easy part. Yeah. Well, you say that. But you're going to give some tips for folks at home in case they uh, have some trouble Yeah, so what cooking. we're preparing today is just a nice seasonal uh, kind of dinner party dish that you can cook for your friends and kind of wow them. And it's yeah. really easy. So uh, what we do is we take some butternut squash, delicata squash, sweet potato, apple, Yukon gold potato. Mm -hmm. Kind of dice them really small, take the skins off the squashes, and just uh, roast them in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Um, which is pretty easy. Uh, and then for the pickup for dinner, all you're going to do is get your pan hot with some oil, mm -hmm. put the squash right in there. Oh, so that's good. We can make a big batch of that yeah, beforehand. Yeah, so you can make it ahead of time. So if you want to use it, you know, for lunch the next day too, you have it in the fridge. Yeah. Just going to season it with some salt and pepper. Kind of bring that back up to heat now. Mm-hmm. Now we're just really going to crisp them up. Yeah, we're going to get a little texture. get a little texture, get a little color on the squash. Mm -hmm. um, while that's going on, we can season our scallops, which will be done in five minutes. So that's the easy part. Oh, good. So we use a little bit of kosher salt. I put a little bit of black pepper on these scallops, mm -hmm. um, just because the dish is kind of naturally sweet with all the squash and the cranberry. Yeah. So I like pepper too. Yeah, a little like bit of heat won't hurt it. What sort of oil do you suggest when we're cooking scallops? So I. Pretty much use either olive oil or a blended olive oil, mm -hmm. um, a 90-10 canola olive oil and olive oil blend. Um, just, it just, just holds so a very smoke? good heat. Yeah, okay. it, it holds uh, up to some heat so you can get a nice sear on your scallops. Mm -hmm. um, same with the squash. It's a clean oil so it's not overpowering, you know, olive oil flavor with squash. Yeah. That's good because you do have a lot of different flavors coming together. Mm -hmm. Familiar flavors, similar flavors, so they'll blend nicely. But like mm -hmm. you said, there's a lot going on already. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a very easy dish to cook, too. I mean, we're, It looks easy. Yeah, you're putting it together pretty right much, in front of us. It's pretty much a reheat right now. So if you okay. have this in the fridge, you're reheating it. And we'll just take some fresh pea greens and we'll toss those right in at the end. That's kind of a last second yeah, thing. Yeah, just to add some vibrance to it. And then that's it for, for the squash. Good. We got this part done. Uh, we will finish our dish in just a bit. Stick around. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Thanks to our friends at GoProvidence.com. Chef Greg. Greg is here. Avio is the place located in Garden City. It's just a great location. Scallops with autumn squash, potato hash, cranberry chutney. All sounds good. That's on the menu today. Look at all these vibrant Look at the, colors. This looks delicious. Come on. They look so good. I feel like you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do right now? So right now we're going to take some of our scallops. Okay. Um, and we've salt and peppered them. We got our pan hot with some oil. You want to make sure it's pretty hot because uh, you don't want these to stick. So you just want to get them right in there so they oh. sear right on there. Get like some nice caramelization, the natural sugars in the scallops. 
Um, I always love nice when browning. the road show turns into a babbling brook. <laughs> it does. Is yeah. it soothing, ladies and gentlemen? It's sizzling away. Very pensive. So how long are these going to go on for? Because I know you're going to uh, These are probably these about on. two or three minutes on each side. Um, I want to keep that scallop really nice and moist in the middle, get a nice sear on the outside. And, and this here, if, even if you don't like, you know, if you're fussy and you're not a seafood fan, sure. you could put this with anything. Pretty much anything. I mean, you could do a vegetarian, you could eat a whole bowl of that, or you could, you know, put a piece of chicken with it. That looks delicious. That Whatever looks really, you'd like. really great. Are they ready? Yeah, I almost. can't wait to sample. I love scallops. <laughs> almost. So our scallops are really fantastic. I use a company called Wild Atlantic Seafood. Um, smaller company out of Galilee. They own a boat, the Karen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So we like to feature them as much as we can. Uh, we have a great working relationship with them. You know, right. support local business. Right. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And we were, we were also talking about the restaurant. First, the location, Garden City, great place. Right. This time of year, it even yeah. gets even busier oh, yeah. and more fun to be there. The restaurant itself is always busy, too. Yes. So tell us about the restaurant. So uh, we just changed our menu about two weeks ago to our uh, fall winter menu. Mm -hmm. um, just really trying to focus on the simple fall flavors. Just cook it with really great technique. Um, just a fun, fun place to be. Uh, right. Busy all the time, you know, Monday through Sunday. Um, it's definitely approachable to get in there, sure. too. You know? Yeah, it's really nothing, nice. Nothing out of the ordinary. Will and I are a couple of simple guys. <laughs> we are. Yeah. That's Especially what it's while you're about. over there shopping, you're looking for something, someplace nice to go, a sit down, sit down menu where you know you're going to get great service and great food. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and awesome. check that out. Is it fun for you to change up the menu from time to time to keep it things is. fresh? Yeah, and we creative? try to keep it uh, very seasonal. We use a lot of local uh, farms in the area. So, you know, right now the squashes, the sweet potatoes, you know, that kind of stuff is yeah. uh, in abundance. In the summertime, we, you know, love to feature tomatoes, Italian restaurant, right? right. Might as well have the best tomatoes in right. Rhode Island. Definitely. Man, That's look great. at that golden brown. Oh, that looks fantastic. Yeah, so we're getting a nice stare on that. And you got to keep your eye on it if you're doing this at home, monitor things. Yeah, I mean, you don't ever want to put too many scallops in the plate either, or into the pan either. So if you are cooking it for a dinner party with four people, you either want to use a, a much larger pan or two of them. That mm -hmm. way you can keep the heat in the pan while you're staring them off. Okay. Um, and it's definitely a little bit harder in a home kitchen than it is a commercial kitchen to do this. So you might want to use a cast iron pan to keep that heat in it. Cast iron pan, everything tastes better on a you cast iron pan. No, maybe I won't try this at home. If it's you a little more try difficult, it at home. you know, be fine. I was planning a dinner party. <laughs> fine. The recipes online, so. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. He's got that down. Easy for you. So while these are going, I know you also have some of the, the, uh, yeah. the cranberry here as so well. So while those are finishing up, we'll heat up uh, the hash really quick right mm -hmm. there. Looks and awesome. we'll take some of the cranberries. So we just slow, slow cook some uh, dried cranberries, some sugar, some water, some... Uh, this is where you're going to allow your friend, so just take a nice little plop of it, but smear it right down on the plate. Very simple, just kind of like a cranberry jam right on the bottom, yep. and we're going to put the half right on top of that. Right there. That's quite the artist. It is. That looks great. While you're cooking, so you, <laughs> you want to make sure that you're, you're tasting your food as you're cooking for your dinner party. You know, you really want to wow these people. Make sure it's seasoned properly. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. So, plate them just like that, right in the middle. And we've right. learned right here on the road show, many times you eat first with your eyes, and Correct. it's extremely pleasing to the eye. Gorgeous. So the scallops are just about ready right now. And I know the holidays are coming. What do you guys have going on over there? Yeah, so, I mean, um, we're definitely taking some ho holiday parties as it goes right now. Um, and then just Garden City does a great job. They do the, you know, uh, Santa comes in yep. the day after Christmas, and they do the Garden City stroll. It's just like a lot going oh, on. Yeah, that busy, busy you place. You know what I like to say, Will? That is Instagrammable. Thanks, Thanks yep. what it so is. That's it right that's there. It. This Looks is me. Good. Thank you very much, Chef Greg from Avio, of course, in Cranston Garden City, here courtesy of GoProvidence.com. Get the recipe. Learn more. Roadshow.com. Thanks, guys.